Hi there, and welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not so geeky. My name is Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman. And today we are looking at a clock radio. Now, let me ask you a question before we get to this one. Okay. How much do you think is reasonable to spend on a clock radio? Oh, a clock radio? This is a clock radio. 75 bucks. 75 bucks. This is, by the way, I'll, I'll get to what you just did there in a second. But oh. uh, yeah, this clock radio is a little pricier than that. Oh. 149 Okay, oh. so it's double that. Okay. But I love this clock radio, and I want okay. to convince you of how fabulous this clock radio is. Okay. And this, but, but there is a slide. Sell me, Bob. I will. But this is a slide. <laughs> you don't answer yet. See what else you got. Okay. How much would it have to be for me to put you in this clock radio today? How much would it have to be? <laughs> right, you mean kidding. like what sort of options would I have to, be to have? I'm a salesperson here. Yeah. yeah. I would like to drive out on this brand new clock radio. And you'll also receive if you order in the next 30 minutes. That's right. So uh, what this this has this is first of all this is by a company called Extreme Mac Extreme Mac Luna it's, it's called it's called the Luna mm -hmm. Clock Radio very nice small little package and uh, this is a kind of an instruction sheet that while, when you first get it really helps because there's four it's very neat controls if you take a look here there's four buttons on top and they both uh, at least the front ones both push in and turn so this turns as well as pushing in and if you're interested, this kind of lays on top when you're first getting it to tell you what each one does. Oh, okay. Very nice. So uh -huh. the other thing is it's got a beautiful display. Take a look at that display. Really nice, high quality display. Nice and display. it will show you things, you know, all about your iPod and, you know, when you plug your iPod in the dock. Oh, you mean it shows like the name of the... Yeah, I'll, oh. I'll show you in a second. So first of all, let me show you these beautiful controls here. For instance, this one, if you turn it here, you'll notice this is the display dimmer. See the display getting brighter and dimmer there. Very easy, intuitive control. Right? right. This one selects your source and also your um, volume. So, for instance, if I'm going to press this to FM. The problem with FM here is I left the antenna at home. Ah. So, to simulate the antenna, I'm going to stick my finger <laughs> in the antenna hole. <laughs> ah. No yeah. antenna. Antenna. No antenna. That's a good song. My finger has been supplanted. So keep your finger there. Okay. <laughs> For those of you listening on MP3, you may be wondering <laughs> what we're talking about. The audio only version. <laughs> yeah, wiggle your finger around a yeah, little right. bit. Just like that. <laughs> so this is the volume control and it sounds pretty good. It doesn't have the it doesn't have the base of some of the other units. No subwoofer. Or, whoops, slipped. <laughs> okay. So, uh, very nice clock radio, easy to read dial. And of course, it has an iPod dock too. So, I'm going to take said iPod and insert it into the dock here. It will charge your iPod, you know, as, uh, as they all do as well. And now you can select as, a, as a, an input, you can select your iPod as well. So, that's what I'm going to do here iPod. Right? And. You're gonna wake up to Wham? Wake up to Wham. I wanna move up to like smooth operator. Yeah. The last clock radio we looked at um, was the one by, it was that sort of circular one by uh, JBL. I can't remember what it's called, but it was a JBL one. And the problem was, is every time you put your iPod in, it reset to the beginning of your playlist. Oh, that's right. I this doesn't that. do this. This one, you can set where you want it to, you know, what song you want it to wake up on, you know, and, and have it on there. And it's got two alarms, you can, you know, to set it in there. So it's really a cool, I think for waking up, if you want to wake up to your iPod, right. it's much better than that So you just one. do a wake up playlist, songs to wake up to. Yeah, and right. have that playlist ready to go, and then it, right. it will play. And when you put it in or take it out, it doesn't always go back to the first one. So you can have where it gets nice some like a it's a nice Bach piano yeah. music and then goes into a, yeah. a little bit of slow music and then a little bit of get the hell up or, exactly I say hell, heck, get I, the heck up. What I really <laughs> like is, is is again the display on here, which I think is if you just take a look, it's just a really easy to read from across the room display. Does not have a video out on it as some iPod docs do, but it does have a line in. So if you want to plug in another source, you know, a tape deck or something else, a tape deck. Well, whatever, any other source. We're going way back, a tape deck, huh? You can certainly do that, too. How about an 8-track? Let's plug in an 8-track, Ben. You're making fun of me. <laughs> I think you are. No. Oh, no. So, I got to tell you, it's, it's small, it's compact, it's, uh, it's you know, it's, uh, it fits nicely on your side table. It has a really nice display. Again, look, see, it shows you what time your alarm is set for there. Yeah. It's just, it's easy to read the display. 
and it's got very easy to operate controls. And I think it sounds pretty good. It does not sound as good as the Harman Kardon boombox, the right. JBL uh, other ones you know that we've looked at. It's not. This is not a great audiophile system. Eighty bucks. About five dollars. Eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. One forty nine is too expensive for you. Yeah. Even I, with the iPod dock. Even with the iPod dock. Oh. I, I mean, really, it's it's a it's a clock alarm. It's not. I mean, you're you're really using it for the only function, which is to wake up to an iPod. It doesn't have the subwoofer. You're not using it really. Does for it, the, it comes with a remote? You can use it from across the room. Ninety? Can I get you up to ninety? <laughs> you pay eighty nine ninety nine. Going once. Eighty nine ninety nine. And Extreme you'll throw Mac, in the free. The free instruction, instruction card. card. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I I think this is a fantastic it's clock a good, radio, and I don't mind the price. Radio. I give it yeah. a five out of five. I I think it's a fantastic clock radio, but I think it's a fantastic clock radio for eighty bucks. Right. So three out of five for me. The only issue really is the price. I mean, I think that you know it's it's too expensive right, right. now. So that is three out of five, Tiffany. Five <laughs> out of five for me for the Extreme Mac Luna clock radio, which I really like. Let me tell you, just before we cut to commercial. Um, Extreme Mac was kind of nice enough to send me a couple of the other cool little products. Oh. For instance, I love it when they do this. Here, look at our clock radio, and here's the other stuff that we sell too. This is Extreme Mac's Micro Memo. And what it is is, uh, it looks like a very expensive nose cleaner. <laughs> I could use that today. Uh, yeah, you got that little sniffle. <laughs> but uh, you plug this into your iPod, like so, and you can now record your memos with it. So I'm going to hit on uh, hit record here. Okay. So this, the standard recording software that comes on the iPod. Well, it again, it, yeah, it, come, it, it, it will allow you to record. You see on the screen there, I don't know if you can I see do. these little okay. numbers coming up. So let's just do a, a minute or two of just okay. like a talking here and we'll see. So how are you doing, Tiff? Good, how are you How's doing? that nose thing coming along? You are know, you it's, sniffly? It's good. It's good. The Flowin' A is going to kick in any day now. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> this is not going to be as high quality as, as you know, uh, some of the other more expensive right. recording things. It's just a nice small though, for mic. recording, you know, conversations that you like to have. So, you know. Like secret of, conversations? Well, like when you go to, like, uh, when you, you stick this in your jacket pocket? Of course, for quality purposes. Yeah. Quality like, control purposes. Quali I wonder if I could, like, stick this in my pocket here and just have, like, this. And I could be, like, secretly uh, taping our conversations here, hey. and you wouldn't even know about it. A private it. investigator could really make use of that. Right. Besides, if you uh, play it off like it's on an iPod, who's going to think you're recording something? Exactly. Minus, minus the right. whole my thing that looks like a mic. Let me stop it here. <laughs> the other thing this has, I'm going to just say this. I like that. I think that's kind of cool. You, like, you think that's, that's I neat? I do, yeah. yeah. Um, the other neat thing about it is, if I play this back, it, there's uh, two little speakers here. Now, they're not very loud. You hear that? I hear it. It's really gonna, quiet. It's really quiet. That's kind of because we were maybe far away. Let me see if I can hold this up. Okay, so the speakers are basically fairly useless on these things. Cause it's <laughs> the conclusion quiet. is, yeah. There are two little speakers here. Uh, maybe, what happens if I play back music with it? Let's uh, go back here. Hold on. We'll go back to uh, a playlist. Maybe we didn't record it in a high enough volume. Well, I, I you know, I, I, maybe, let me, uh, let me throw on uh, some music here. That'll, yeah, I'll tell you when you. Yeah. Here we go. Record it in high enough. Still pretty darn quiet. Let me hold your mic. Yeah. Okay, so it's not an iPod boombox. <laughs> Let's stipulate that. But if, for, I guess, I mean, it's pretty darn quiet. That's like full volume. <laughs> That's like cranked. Yeah. Okay. It's quiet. So not great for playing back, but good for, you know, pinch in a you know, quiet environment. Now. Another little extreme mix. So that's kind of okay. So not cool. so good that's for a private investigator, uh, but micro memo, good for recording. But a and very good idea. Audio. I'll use that audio on the podcast. Okay, but you know, a really good idea if they could just upgrade the quality. I yeah. mean, really, I think that's a good seller. You know. Okay, and then there's this guy. They also sent me. This is called the AirPlay Boost, and what it does is, you let's say you're in a car, and it's not like uh, your eighty thousand dollar Audi that already has <sighs> the iPod. So always talk about my eighty thousand dollar Audi. The you iPod, want one, don't you? Uh, I do. I really do. Um, I want a Hummer. I like those uh, Hummer H2s. Yeah. You plug this in like so, and it attaches to the bottom. And now this, uh, and you choose a frequency, like it says 107.9 on here. And now what this will do is it will play your songs through your car stereo. So if you have a, an old-fashioned car stereo that doesn't have an iPod dock and mm -hmm. it uh, 
uh, has FM radio, right. you can now play this in your car, and it comes through your car speakers. So I don't know if any of you use the... I, actually, there's a lot of different kits out there that you can buy. Um, and in areas where there's a lot of stations, it's a little bit harder to get good quality sound. Yes. And in Phoenix especially, that's especially hard. Because, Phoenix is, is, is pretty bad. Yeah. Phoenix is like medium bad. You know where's terrible is California. LA. LA. LA would be so horrible. so many radio stations imagine? between the Latino stations and the news talk stations right. and the music stations. It's so hard to find a frequency because you need to find like an empty-ish frequency uh-huh. on here. It's right. very difficult to find that. So yeah, but yeah, it's it's a cool uh, and very uh, nice design. It I is. Mean, it's nice and designed. It's small. It's small. Uh, you know, it just fits on the bottom like that. It means uh, it uses your docking port, and they put another docking port on the bottom. So if you want to like have a dock while you're docked, so you could do your microphone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you do like a microphone? Okay, this is probably illegal in some states. Um, but there you go. You want to record your radio? That's. I'm trying to like, attach the microphone to the. This is probably not something they ever designed this to do. It I think they confiscate that in airport security. It looks like it might be. That's right. An explosive. <laughs> so now I can broadcast. I can do karaoke to radios. Ah, look at that for when you don't have anything else to do. Okay, being silly now. <laughs> So uh, anyway, this is all from a stream Mac. We have the Luna and then these two little cute, the AirPlay Boost and the micro memo. Do you know these are by chance? Memo. You know, I don't, I don't have the, play- oh yes like I do, I'm sorry. Ten the bucks. micro memo is, ten bucks? what do you think? 10 bucks. 60. Come again? $60 for that guy. And the AirPlay Boost is? Well, gee, based on the other one, fifty nine ninety five, Bob. 49 Sixty forty nine okay. on their website. You can buy those, or I think that's kind of what they are. Maybe you have to get them a little cheaper somewhere else. But those are some fun products from our good friends at Extreme Mac. Yes, thank you, Extreme Mac. And we'll be right back in just a minute. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. Have you just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it, or maybe you've got an old XP computer that you upgraded? Well, we've just created an amazing new DVD. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make your computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you to make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com. And we are back uh, with the second half of Neophyte.tv this week. And we have some really cool products sent to us uh-huh. by our good friends at Slappa. Slappa makes a very good product. They do. And yeah. let me tell you, the first one, now, there's, there's good products for both of us here. The first one is this really cool new backpack they've come out with. Oh. Designed for the big 17-inch laptops. You have a 17-inch laptop. Uh, I do. This has like got this really cool, funky design on it. And it's just... An incredible amount of protection. This is the, it's called the, um, the long name, Velocity Pro Spider. I just love the material they come it's out with really on these. Cool. It's, it's kind of yeah. like, um, like a suede-y, wetsuit-y material. Yeah, it's just a really high, the, the material is just a very high quality, Now they've got material. this big hand slap logo on the back. Yeah, that's, and a, that that's a big really, hand. Yeah, it is a big hand. Here, <laughs> yeah. give, me, give me a high five. Here you slapper. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a big slap. Uh, but this is really nice for keeping your back cool and it's padded mm-hmm. and it lets air go through. And then inside here is, is the big main laptop compartment. I know it's kind of hard to see in the black, mm-hmm. but that's where your laptop goes there. Stick your hand in there. Yeah. Well padded, don't you think? Very well padded. Yeah. yeah. It's good. And, and but you know, it's not so well padded that you can't get more stuff in there. Well, that's, that's right. Which is a trick. It's not going to, yeah. it's not going to, that's right. So that's, you got a nice yeah. big space for your laptop in there. And then, uh, you know, you got all these pockets in the front, yeah. pockets on the side. It's just, I think for, if you're nice like uh, looking for like a, just the coolest, well-protected backpack on the market. And it's got right really now. good padding on the, you know. It really does. These are like cushy, cushy. It's got your favorite little Pez dispenser. That's right. Stick your iPod <laughs> on the side. And these, oh yeah, that would be exactly a, the perfect for iPod. This is uh, neat because it comes off here. You can uh, unclip this. Does it have your, uh, your rings that you like so much? The, no, no D-rings. No on D-rings. This. Yeah, but it does have the uh, cool pocket here with the uh, uh, th- clip. Oh, clip that is on. cool. It'll clip on like anywhere here. Yeah. It has all these clips. You could buy more. Clip these on. So if you want to take this off, or if you want to clip it on, yeah. you just uh, stick it under here. Cell phone, iPod, under. whatever. Right. Now this is not necessarily what Slapper's main known for, though. And this is this next bit that I want to get to from Slapper is something I think is really super cool. So, do you have CDs? I have lots of CDs. I have a bunch of CDs too. And Slapper is known for their very cool CD storage and management systems. 
And this is their new, what's it called? It's called the D2I system. And it's interlocking. Now let me show you how this works. So this is the, the little guy that stores like 20, uh, 20 disks. Okay. And uh, what's really cool about this is you'll notice that each one of these pockets is a double pocket. So you put the disk in here and you can, I should show them, not you. Put the disk in here in this first pocket, and then the second bit is where you put the liner notes, you know, the, the little um, oh, thing. So for each one, right. you've got the disk, and you've got the notes, notes. Yeah, Perfect. in each one. So it's very, Good very design. easy to find the disk and also where yeah. the, you know, the cover is on it. Yeah. But here's what's really cool about this, okay? This is an interlocking system where these go in and out. Oh, how cool is that? It's very cool. Let me grab another one here. So you can take these, if you just want to take a couple out and yeah. put them in your car visor, you don't have to take the discs out and leave that in here. You can pull these right out of the case. Wow. This is the, D, the beauty of the D2i interlocking system. Isn't that cool? And you can add more. You, know, you can add more. Now, like let's say that this, this guy, uh, which stores, uh, what was it? Uh, a, uh, these are really neat. Yeah. So that one stores 40. Okay. Okay. 40 in, front and back. So 40 and 20 front and back. Yeah, that's right. Okay. In, in that guy. But let's say 40 isn't quite big enough for your particular CD collection. Well, that's okay. Because in the digital Slap age. Slap has got you covered. Ah. Okay. With this bad boy that uh, stores like, uh, uh, how many does this one store? Two. I guess. Great this case. Is 200. I know. Isn't I it love nice? their material. It's There's something about their material. It's like a suede. Yeah. 240 in this bad boy. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's right. Now, again, check it out here. Oh, that is Let's so Let's say that cool. you have one in here and you've taken this one out. Oh, my gosh. Right? Look at and that. And you can take this one that you took out of your other set, right? Yeah. And this slides right back in. Wait, Bob, tell me more. <laughs> so it's really easy to organize these. You've got space in here for, like, uh, you know, uh, other papers and stuff you right. want to put in there. Okay? I mean, that is... A little dusty? A little dusty. But that not that interlocking system that's just the coolest thing? No, is that a patented design that they... Is this, this is going to be copied, I, I, I isn't, it should be. Because, yeah, I mean, definitely. it's really, really cool the way you can join them, two of them together and put them into one and out of another one. Now... Very nice. Let's just assume that 240... You know, you've got your, your 40 here. Your 240, even that! So we got your, we got your car... Home, and here comes the office version. Even that isn't big enough. You've got this big guy here. <laughs> this is wow. 420. Now, this is, I guess, if you're like maybe a DJ or something, check this out. Okay. Oh, wow. So Look these, again, these interlocking, let me firstly lift up the front here. Here, I'll help you. The interlocking system, these will just slide nicely right in there. See how these store? Wow. Now, let's say you've got these broken down into heavy metal, <laughs> Celine Dion albums, and uh, Beatles, okay? And you okay. want to take out the heavy metal, This you can just take out this whole thing, and you notice it's got like a little label on the front there. Can you see that? That's the oh. little, little logo. So very, very nice. can go in and out. Wow, that is very cool. Ah, and then you can unzip the top here. It's like a broken right. I just go, wow, that's cool. That's Well, I really am so surprised that this... I know. It's, it's such cool. a neat design. It's the first time I've seen it, so obviously. And in here, look what you've got, okay? You've got a place to hang your headphones. You've got a place for your CD player and whatever it is you want to put in there. You've got a place to put you know, your pens and your wow. batteries and, and all kinds of other stuff. So you've got more storage in there. Plus, you've also got a pocket on the front here. Check out that pocket right here. Everything is black, so it's virtually impossible to see against our set. Oh, it looks like it's got a strap right here for the yeah. carrying on if the side. If you want to carry this, this, this guy, I mean, this is a really nice case. It is. Uh, I think if you're like a professional DJ. Yeah. You know, you could, but, or if you just want to carry your own headphones. Or a camera. You know what? This would be great for a photographer. You know why? Because a lot of photographers save all their photos to disc. Yeah. Uh, and idea. their camera would be in this part and the photography just in that part. So whether you want the 40 or the 240 or the 420... Bring those, bring those stickers on top here. You can, they can see go. the mommy, daddy, and the baby uh, section here. I mean, Slap has really got you covered. It really does. I got to tell you, as a CD storage system, this is the best I've seen. I got to give it a five out of five. And yeah, and the Slap a bag that I had from uh, last, I don't know, a year ago that, yeah, that, that we got. One, yeah, that one. I use that 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 bag on probably nine or ten I trips, know. and it looks as good now as it did when this I first got really it. This stuff really stands up to like buffing and bu you know bumping right. and bumps and knocks. It's, it's, it's plus it's very black cool. doesn't help either. You're hurt. Right. 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 Anyway, um, hides everything. I, I can't say anything bad about Schlappa. Um, You're calling it Schlappa. You think I it's Schlappa? What is it, Schlappa? I think it's just Slappa. 
Oh, Slappa. Slappa. It's S L A P P A. Okay, Slappa. 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 Or, or maybe it is Schlappa if you want to, you know, like the Jewish E way of saying it. <laughs> right. Or German. Schlappa. Yeah. Schlappa. Schlappenheisen. <laughs> uh, five out of five for me. Definitely. This is a great product. So that's five out of five for Tiffany and five out of five for me. Ten out of ten for the Slappa D2i interlocking CD storage system. Very, mm -hmm. very cool. Innovative design. In whatever, you know, in small, medium, and large. Right, very impressive. So I really like the way you can take it from one and put it to another. Absolutely. And that's all the time we have for this week. If you have an extra moment, please visit our website, www.neo-fight.tv. And uh, we'll hope to see you next week. See you again, folks. Bye-bye. In today's fast-paced world, it's vitally important that young people develop a good understanding of how computers operate and how the internet works. LittleGeeks.org takes donated computers, refurbishes them, and then provides them to underprivileged kids at no charge. It's our goal at LittleGeeks.org to make sure that no kids are left out of the digital revolution. To find out how you can help, please visit www.littlegeeks.org. Thanks a lot.